Well, hello there, yes. Desperately close to the weekend, I'm rather pleased to say. Um, Catherine Burblesing. Uh, no longer our social mobility czar. Still Britain's strictest headmistress, allegedly. Um, opened up a can of worms over the last couple of days, which has been quite amusing to watch. Now that she's no longer Britain's uh, social mobility czar, she seems to have decided to actually mention actual things about social mobility, presumably because it's not dependent on her status anymore. Um, and she's suggested that um, schools, certain private schools, who uh, want to drop uh, GCSEs because... Um, uh, well, it's all a bit pointless at 16, these exams, they claim, um, are doing so because uh, GCSEs are hard and they can't get their kids through them, um, which is, um, well, true, actually, yes. Um, <laughs> schools like Eton don't do GCSEs because they are too hard. Um, any cursory look at the arguments that private schools come out about this um, do fall down, as she's very well aware, and... Uh, for once has a platform in the Daily Telegraph to say so. The reason why people fork out £40,000 a year to send their son to Charterhouse or whatever it is isn't to get good GCSEs. There are other reasons. And if you create what we might call a level playing field in the sense that all children have to take the same exam, then these places will suddenly not get great exam results and therefore they will just simply change the rules of the game. Because the game is not to get good exam results. A lot of people are sort of led up the garden path around that. The game is to send your child somewhere very, very expensive where they won't meet working class children, but they will meet the children of other, of other extremely rich people. And they will go on to a career in with The Economist or as a SPAD or whatever it might be. And it doesn't matter what political party you're involved in, they all do the same thing. Um, that's the game. OK, um, if we really want to live in a meritocracy, we need to change this system. But obviously, that would then expose certain people in society for not being as gifted as we have perhaps been told. I think if you just take one look at our current leadership in terms of the cabinet, you can see that that isn't really a meeting of the brightest and best and yet they went to very very expensive schools okay Rishi Sunak's a bright guy but really Teresa and the rest of them in cabinet Suella Braverman really you're going to tell me these are bright buttons that did extremely well in school mm, I don't believe so if Oxford actually had to give its places to bright children there wouldn't be a lot of kids from Eton and Westminster there. Maybe we could live in that world, but one says, as, as I say, that isn't the game that people are playing. So um, it'll be interesting to watch this story unfold because, of course, lots of people are having a go at her. Not because what she says is wrong, but because she said it. And that's one of the things that we mustn't. Uh, there's a link down below to a very interesting Sutton Trust 2019 study on where exactly people come from in terms of their professions and the schools that they went to it's a good read i do recommend it anyway do you have a lovely friday um i'm going to look forward to my sociology this afternoon do enjoy <laughs>